Gracias. <laughs> I'll put them in a little box in the park. Keep them quiet. No, don't eat the box. Don't eat the box. They look adorable. Yeah. They've obviously grown a lot since then. <laughs> that probably sort of introduced them to the way they are now, running and all that sort of thing, you know, and having fun. But in saying so, when they did come to us, it made an enormous amount of difference because we knew they were poorly, very poorly, and we knew that we had to undertake certain things with them, the medication and all that, and just to, and, and doctors, hospital visits and everything like that. But it didn't deter us at all. Um, how did the situation change? The, in that obviously they were they were there as being fostered and mm. then you found yourselves able to adopt adopt think, them that changed everything yeah, didn't it Denzel? yeah the, yeah the local authority uh, made it known to us that the long term plan for the children was for them to be adopted and not to for them to stay in fostering um, and then at that point um, by that time we we'd more or less decided that we we, we couldn't let them go because yeah. um, we we kind of bonded with them um, and so we uh, spoke to the social workers and said that we would like to be considered as adoptive parents and they were quite happy to let that go forward. Mm. But I think, you know, I mean, I mean, Joe, there were so many rigorous tests and things that we had to go through, I, I like the medical, and then things like social workers that was calling ad hoc. I know people say things about social workers, but, you know, they have a job to do, and they were absolutely brilliant, you know, with us, and mm -hmm. it didn't matter whatever time they called to check that, make sure we were doing things right. Um, if you're not sort of up to speed about recording daily things, you have to do all of that as well to make sure that things is good. Um, the background of family families, you know, make sure you have a close-knit family that you can work with. I mean, um, for me, it was great because Dense's mum, you know, although she's in Wolverhampton, she's always up here, my sister, my niece, you know, you, you've got to really have that sort of family bond in order, your backup, let's say, so it doesn't just happen overnight. There's a lot of things to go through, but it's... Uh, and it's those are all things, obviously, that, that anybody goes through when they're fostering or adopting. Yeah, sure. absolutely. You, you have mentioned, obviously, your age. Was, did you ever feel that that was a fact? Or was that a concern ever? I, it, I thought about it. Not for you, it. but I, I mean for, for, the, for the, the social workers who were looking. Um, I think at first they thought, oh, you know, is this going to be a problem? But then once they sort of met us and mm. were speaking on, you know, the terms of this is what's going to be required and how about getting up at one o'clock in the morning and all this sort of thing, how would you feel? And, you know, they looked at us and saw that we were, we were out with the kids a lot because they mentioned things like the kids need to go out to, to actively nearly every day or see this and see that. But um, I don't think it became...